Good morning, madam. My name is Leong Yao Long, and my number metric is 01-TEE-19F-2001. Today, I want to present about the max. The question I did, I will show in the picture form. Now we do the question. Now we start the present. First, this is the question. Then I change to dy dx. Then I get 3x squared negative 2x negative 2. At the turning point, dy dx is 0. Why is 0? Because it's the middle line. In the graph paper, the graph is like that. The dy dx is here. Okay. Then this one I changed already. So I bring it to here. Then I use the qualification to do. I separate A, B, C. The A I put 3, the B I put negative 2, the C also negative 2. This is the formula about the this is about the quadratic formula. Then I follow this formula and I put the the negative 2 from B. This here also B. I put this one is the A and this one is C. Then divide 2A. So the A is 3, so I put inside. Then I get the answer is 2 plus of negative square root 4 plus 24 divide 6 and and the 4 plus 24 I get the 28 then I want to let let guys of madam easily to see it so I separated 2 2 plus square root 28 divide 6 and another one is 2 negative square root 28 this is the answer I get it the, this one is 1.215 is from this one and the negative 0 0.548 is for this one okay then we go to another step the next step is we need to find a y the y turning point by just now I get the answer is x is 1.215 okay then I use the original one didn't have changed anything I put the x value inside inside the inside the x so this is this is the answer I calculate and the final answer is y is negative 2.112 I use this for the extra then I get the y answer but the another one also the same step but just the different thing is put the s value is different uh. this is negative 0 0.548 okay then I put inside already then this is the cube then put the negative 0 0.548 this is divide the power 3 yeah. and this one is divide power 2 then this times negative 2 so I get the before I get the answer I get this one uh. if you want to make sure please press calculator to check it the answer I get 0.631 then the x is negative 0.548 and the y is 0.631 this is the part I form here then I let my partner Lin Zichong to continue this math presentation 
Sima Sajatra Puan Salila. My name is Lin Zhu Chong and my registration number is 01DEE19F2008. In this video, I'm going to present the mess and show how I determine the nature of the stationary point. Thank you Leung for finding the turning point. Now I will do the solution to determine the nature of the turning point. So, first of all, I will do the solution first. Now I have to do the solution. So first I will find out the second order derivative first to determine the nature of the turning point. So to find out the second order derivatives, we need to differentiate the first order derivatives which is dy over dx equal to 3x squared minus 2x minus 2. So first I differentiate 3x squared, the power of 2 of x break in front times 3, so become 6, the power of 2 of the x minus 1, so it will become 6x. And for the negative 2x, we differentiate it, it will become negative 2. And now, we differentiate number, whenever we differentiate number, no matter what number it is, it will become 0. So, the second order derivatives we get is, is 6x minus 2. And now, we substitute the value of x1, which is 1.215, into 8. So when x equal to 1.215, d square y over dx square equal to 6x minus 2. So 6 bracket 1.215 bracket minus 2. 6 times 1.215, it will become 7.29. And 7.29 minus 2, it will become 5.29. We can see this at here. It is a positive value. So when it is positive value, 1.215 and negative 2.112 is a minimum point. And now, when we substitute value of x2, which is when x equal to negative 0.548, d square y over d square equal to 6x minus 2. So 6 bracket negative 0.548 bracket minus 2. 6 times negative 0.548 equal to negative 3.288 minus 2, it will become negative 5.28. So we can see that here it is a negative value. So negative 0.548 and 0.631 it is a maximum point. Okay, now we already get the maximum point and minimum point. Now I can sketch the graph about it. Okay, so here is the graph of it. Here is the maximum point and here is the minimum point. So how? How we identify that this is the maximum point and this is the minimum point? And why? When d square y over d square is positive value, it is a minimum point. And when d square y over d square is a negative value, and it's maximum point. So to identify it, we can look at here. We take two points, one point before the maximum point and one point after the maximum point. So we can see that we have a tangent at here of the point on the curve. We can see that the tangent is rising upwards. So the gradient is a positive and we can say that m is bigger than zero. And now we look, we look at here. Here is the stationary point, which is the maximum point, and we can see that the tangent at here on this curve is a horizontal line. So when tangent is a horizontal line, gradient is equal to 0 and m is equal to 0. Okay, now we continue to look at here. We can see that the tangent at this point at here, the tangent is moving downwards. So it is a negative ten is a negative gradient and we can say that m is less than zero. In this case, if we move along the curve, here is the positive gradient and reach here, the gradient will become zero because here is the stationary point, which is the maximum point, and we continue move along the curve, we can see that the tangent at here is dipping downwards. So we can see that the gradient is from positive 
changing to negative gradient so it is a decreasing gradient therefore this square y over dx square should be less than zero and we can see the solution we get just now here the square over the square and the value we get is a negative value so it is less than zero therefore when we have a negative value of d square over the square we confirm surely have a curve of the graph that have maximum point okay that's all the presentation from my partner Liang Yao Lung and me thank you